while I'm out doing a little gathering. These oak trees have provided a ample supply of acorns. <laughs> Beautiful. Just gorgeous. <laughs> All over the road. And off in the distance, these plants right here, and a lot of these green leafed plants right here that have the the red <clears throat> red bark. This is called sourberry. And these plants are beautiful for actually choke cherry. This particular species is choke cherry, not sourberry. But it's beautiful for making baskets. Some more right here. of it right here and it has a kind of a pungent smell when you cut them open distinct to this species only it's, it's just phenomenal look at all the colors all the fall colors all of those are choke cherry plants all down the side of the road here and across the road my bag. I'm going to have to weigh that and see how much that uh, weighs. But even across the street here, more acorns. <laughs> just, just, these trees just kick out an ample supply of acorns. Phenomenal. Anyhow, I'm just uh, showing you what I'm out doing. There's even manzanita and manzanita berries. Edible. Very edible. So, that's it for now. Uh, this is where I get my choke cherry. All these plants have been cut down this season. So I'm gathering up what I can get for now. I'll come back later if I want more and um, <clears throat> make more baskets. Anyhow, I'll, uh, I'll show you the progress of my baskets when I uh, get started. Well, I'm starting my the base of my basket. <clears throat> I'm weave in another. runner here so that so I can get two of them going on. Twining. This is twining. So this is the beginning of uh, basket number one from the uh, choke cherry. So right now I'm just sizing these down, cutting them down to the right width so that I can uh, get these woven in here. And once I get that going on, I'll uh, start giving it some shape. So, I'll show you the progress here after a little while. Alright, and this is about 10 minutes worth of work, 15 minutes worth of work. That's what the bottom looks like. Still green. I was taught a particular technique that um, that is used on green branches so that the when the branches shrink this doesn't get too loose and fall apart. So I've been using this particular uh, style pretty much ever since I started. So here's the progress so far. All right, well, there's the basket. It's coming along. Just weaving the runners in and out. There's the inside. I got to cut all these off. 
Oh, it's coming along. It's one of my smaller ones. There's the bottom. But this thing, man, this thing's super, super strong, super durable. That's what you want. Durability in these things. You don't want this thing to break on you. So I cut everything to length. So that's how tall it's going to be. Everything is said and done. Yeah. It's my foot for comparison. So. Alright, next we have the uh the final look of the basket. I've actually had it done for a couple of days now and I'll show you what we have going on. First off we have the bottom. Alright, back it off. And this is what we have. It's the final, final stage. All done. The size of my foot for comparison, 11 inch foot. Alright. So I have some runners woven in and out that are of the, uh, the inside color. Of course this is the bark and the outside color. This is the inside color. And then this is how I did my top. In a coil technique. Of course it's real crude. It's not a nice coil technique like the coil baskets that you see but it's the same process going around and around and inside if you can see inside there I have another stick that I've split in half and shaped at the right width and I have that going all the way around the circumference of the basket and then I have it tied off right here although it started stretching out on me a little bit but that's okay so that's that's the end of it right there and the beginning, the end here and the beginning there so so yeah so this is the inside of all those all those runners that were in there cut off and now this is functional. It's not to be put on the shelf and looked at for the rest of its life or your life or whatever. It's to be, it's to be used. Um, I could always make a uh, thump line or um, some leather strips so that I could actually make it into a basket, uh, backpack, or or whatnot. But um, yeah, this is actually a functional basket. This is not to be put on the shelf to be used and that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use it but that's the final final stage the final look glad you guys have uh, come along to see what's going on and followed my videos from time to time thank you for my new subscribers and I'll come up with something new for you guys to check out all right And that's it.